Bromantane, sold under the brand name Ladasin, is an atypical psychostimulant and anxiolytic drug of the adamantane family related to amantadine and mamantine which is used in Russia in the treatment of neurasthenia. Although the effects of the bromantane have been determined to be dependent on the dopaminergic and possibly serotonergic neurotransmitter systems, its exact mechanism of action is unknown, and it is distinct in its properties relative to typical psychostimulants such as amphetamine. Because of its unique aspects, bromantane has sometimes been described instead as an adaptogen and actoprotector. Medical uses Clinical research The therapeutic effects of bromantane in asthenia are said to onset within one to three days. It has been proposed that the combination of psychostimulant and anxiolytic activity may give bromantane special efficacy in the treatment of asthenia. In a large scale, multi center clinical trial of 728 patients diagnosed with asthenia, bromantane was given for 28 days at a daily dose of 50 mg or 100 mg. The impressiveness were 76.0% on the CGIS and 90.8% on the CGII, indicating broadly applicable, high effectiveness. The therapeutic benefit against asthenia was notably observed to still be present one month after discontinuation of the drug, indicating long-lasting positive effects of bromantane. Quality of life was significantly increased by bromantane, and this increase remained at one month after withdrawal of bromantane. 3% of patients experienced side effects, none of the adverse effects were serious, and 0.8% of patients discontinued treatment due to side effects. Bromantane was also noted to normalize the sleep-wake cycle. The authors concluded that Bromantane, in daily dose from 50 to 100 mg is a highly effective, well-tolerated and safe drug with a wide spectrum of clinical effects. Therefore, this drug could be recommended for treatment of asthenic disorders in neurological practice. Effects and benefits Bromantane is described primarily as a mild psychostimulant and anxiolytic. It is also said to possess antiasthenic properties. Bromantane is reported to improve physical and mental performance, and hence could be considered a performance enhancing drug. Bromantane has been found to lower the levels of pro inflammatory cytokines IL 6, IL 17, and IL 4 and to normalize behavior in animal models of depression, and may possess clinical efficacy as an antidepressant. It has also been found to increase sexual receptivity and perceptivity in rats of both sexes, which was attributed to its dopaminergic actions. It has been proposed that bromantane may suppress prolactin levels by virtue of its dopaminergic properties as well. Bromantane has been found to agonize amphetamine-induced stereotypies in vivo, suggesting that it might potentiate certain effects of other psychostimulants. Pharmacology Pharmacodynamics Dopamine synthesis enhancement Although it is frequently labeled as a psychostimulant, bromantane is distinct in its pharmacology and effects relative to typical psychostimulants, such as the phenethylamines e.g., amphetamine and its derivatives and their structural analogues e.g., methylphenidate, cocaine, mesocarb, etc. Whereas the latter directly act on the dopamine transporter to inhibit the reuptake and or induce the release of dopamine, bromantane instead acts via indirect genomic mechanisms to produce a rapid, pronounced, and long-lasting upregulation in a variety of brain regions of the expression of tyrosine hydroxylase TH, and aromatic L-amino acid decarboxylase AAAD, also known as dopa decarboxylase, key enzymes in the dopamine biosynthesis pathway. For instance, a single dose of bromantane produces a 2 to 2.5 fold increase in TH expression in the rat hypothalamus 1.5 to 2 hours post administration. The biosynthesis and release of dopamine subsequently increase in close correlation with TH and AAAD upregulation. Enhancement of dopaminergic neurotransmission is observed in the hypothalamus, striatum, ventral tegmental area, nucleus accumbens, and other regions. As such, the key mechanism of the pharmacological activity and psychostimulant effects of bromantane is activation of the de novo synthesis of dopamine via modulation of gene expression. 
In contrast, typical psychostimulants do not affect Th or AAAD expression and thus have no effect on dopamine biosynthesis. A selection of quoted excerpts from the medical literature detail the differences between bromantane and typical psychostimulants. Bromantane does not concede well-known psychostimulant of phenylalkylamine structure and its analogs amphetamine, mesocarb, methylphenidate, etc. by specific activity. In contrast, bromantane has neither addictive potential nor reveals redundant and exhausting activation of sympatocoadrenergic system, or decelerates the restoring of work capacity at preventive application before forthcoming activity in complicated conditions hypoxia, high environmental temperature, physical overfatigue, emotional stress, etc. Bromantane has no prehypoxic activity. The use of the drug, in contrast to the action of a typical psychostimulant, is not associated with the phenomenon of hyperstimulation and causes no consequences such as functional exhaustion of the body. Bromantane administration in therapeutic doses is characterized by the almost full absence of side effects including manifestations of withdrawal syndrome and hyperstimulation. Bromantane has low peripheral sympathomimetic effects. Moreover, no signs of bromantane dependence and withdrawal symptoms were found. As such, bromantane has few to no side effects, including peripheral sympathomimetic effects and hyperstimulation, does not seem to produce tolerance or dependence, does not show withdrawal symptoms upon discontinuation, and displays an absence of addiction potential, all of which are quite contrary to typical psychostimulants. In accordance with human findings, animals exposed to bromantane for extended periods of time do not appear to develop tolerance or dependence either. The precise direct molecular mechanism of action by which bromantane ultimately acts as a dopamine synthesis enhancer is unknown. However, it has been determined that activation of certain CAMP, CA2+, and phospholipid-dependent protein kinases such as protein kinase A and especially protein kinase C corresponds with the manifestation of the pharmacological effects of bromantane. As such, bromantane seems to be activating intracellular signaling cascades by some mechanism e.g., agonizing some as yet undetermined receptor to in turn activate protein kinases, which in turn cause increased transcription of Th and AAAD. In 2004, it was discovered that amantadine and mamantine bind to and act as agonists of the sigma-1 receptor key equals 7.44 micro m and 2.60 micro m, respectively, and that activation of the sigma-1 receptor is involved in the the central dopaminergic effects of amantadine at therapeutically relevant concentrations. These findings may also extend to the other adamantanes such as adipromine, romantadine, and bromantane, and might potentially explain the psychostimulant-like effects of this family of compounds, possibly including those of bromantane. Monoamine reuptake inhibition Bromantane was once thought to act as a reuptake inhibitor of serotonin and dopamine. Indeed, bromantane does inhibit the reuptake of serotonin, dopamine, and to a lesser extent norepinephrine in vitro in rat brain tissue. However, the concentrations required to do so are extremely high, 50 to 500 micro m, and likely not clinically relevant. Although one study found an IC50 for dopamine transport of 3.56 micro m relative to 28.66 nm for mesocarb, neither drug affected serotonin transport at the tested concentrations. In contrast, in any case, the lack of typical psychostimulant-like effects and adverse effects seen with bromantane supports the notion that it is not acting significantly as a monoamine reuptake inhibitor, but rather via enhancement of dopamine synthesis. Other actions Bromantane has been found to increase the expression of neurotrophins including brain-derived neurotrophic factor and nerve growth factor in certain rat brain areas, although not relevant at clinical dosages. Bromantane has been found to produce anticholinergic effects, including both antimuscarinic and antinicotinic actions, at very high doses in animals, and these effects are responsible for its toxicity, that is, LD50, in animals. Pharmacokinetics 
The psychostimulant effects of bromantane onset gradually within 1.5 to 2 hours and last for 8 to 12 hours. Bromantane is used clinically in doses of 50 mg to 100 mg per day in the treatment of asthenia. The main metabolite of bromantane is 6 beta hydroxybromantane. Chemistry Bromantane is an adamantane derivative. It is also known as adamantyl bromphenylamine, from which its name was derived. History In the 1960s, the adamantane derivative amantadine, one aminoadamantane, was developed as an antiviral drug for the treatment of influenza. Other adamantane antivirals subsequently followed, such as romantadine, 1, 1 aminoethyl, adamantane, and adapromine, 1, 1 aminopropyl, adamantane. It was serendipitously discovered in 1969 that amantadine possesses central dopaminergic psychostimulant like properties, and subsequent investigation revealed that romantadine and adapromine also possess such properties. Amantadine was then developed and introduced for the treatment of Parkinson's disease due to its ability to increase dopamine levels in the brain. It has also notably since been used to help alleviate fatigue in multiple sclerosis. With the knowledge of the dopaminergic psychostimulant effects of the adamantane derivatives, bromantane, which is 2,4-bromophenylamino adamantane, was developed in the 1980s at the Zakasov State Institute of Pharmacology, Russian Academy of Medical Sciences in Moscow as a drug having psychoactivating and adaptogen properties under complicated conditions, hypoxia, high environmental temperature, physical overfatigue, emotional stress, etc. It was found to produce more marked and prolonged psychostimulant effects than the other adamantanes, and eventually entered use. The drug was notably given to soldiers in the Soviet and Russian militaries to shorten recovery times after strong physical exertion. After the breakup of the Soviet Union in 1991, bromantane continued to be researched and characterized but was mainly limited in use to sports medicine for instance, to enhance athletic performance. In 1996, it was encountered as a doping agent in the 1996 Summer Olympics when several Russian athletes tested positive for it, and was subsequently placed on the World Anti-Doping Agency banned list in 1997 as a stimulant and masking agent. Bromantane was eventually repurposed in 2005 as a treatment for neurasthenia. It demonstrated effectiveness and safety for the treatment of the condition in extensive, including large-scale clinical trials, and was approved for this indication in Russia under the brand name Ladasin sometime around 2009. References <laughs>